guy on his bike just ran out there and hit the car. What's up, internet? It's your girl, Amber Smiles Jones. You can call me Smiles if you want to, or hey, you, that bitch over there. I'll still respond. So uh, we got a random ass video for you guys today. We're gonna go ahead and ride the scooter a bit. I got some errands to run. Plus, we're gonna go ahead and try to do this fun neighbor number challenge. For those of you who don't know what that is, the neighbor number trend is when you pretty much call or text your exact phone number, except the last digit is either higher or lower than the last digit in your number. I don't know if they're gonna respond or not, to be honest with you. To be real with you, it could be anybody. I was watching Omar Gosh TV do the same exact trends, and he ended up actually calling an escort service on accident. So it could be anybody. So for an example, if your number ends in a five, then you will call your exact number and set the last digit will be a four or a six. Yeah, it could be anybody. We just don't know who will actually pick up the phone. So, uh, definitely be sure to go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. That way you can uh, show your support for this video as well as my channel. I'm trying to bring you guys some more dope ass content. Let me tell you something. When you guys smash that thumbs up button and show your support, it makes me want to bring you even more. So make sure you guys are going ahead and clicking that thumbs up button. Comment, like, and subscribe. It's gonna be a really interesting video. I'm really excited about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yes, okay, so also at the end of the video, don't forget I'm going to be going ahead and reading your featured comments from one of my past videos. So if you wanna have a chance to be featured in one of my videos, make sure you are commenting in those videos. All right, let's go ahead and strap this bitch to my chest. Here's, here's my little chest harness, and uh, let's get this video started. All right, y'all, so we are now on the scooter. I'm gonna head to the post office first, see if I got anything in there. And I gotta make sure I stay on the street. See, I think I need to go this way. Actually, no, I need to go this way. Probably don't want to go in here, but <laughs> now we're inside the tunnel because I can't ride this shit. Oh, smells like straight ass pee in here. Now, this is a fresh ass tag, it looks wet. Uh, that must have happened within the last couple of last few hours. Oh shit, I almost uh, smell like straight ass pee in here. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but they've been police been handing out tickets. If you're like riding a scooter on a sidewalk, so I'm a little iffy to do it, but I don't see no cops right now. And the sidewalk is clear. So let's take a little shot because it's hot as fuck. I never really go that fast. Just in case there's pedestrians. The light is red. So I'm gonna take my shot here. <laughs> we getting on we getting on the sidewalk over here. <laughs> Woo! Made it. Uh, Y'all, it's terrifying. You write these tickets for riding on the sidewalk on these scooters. Which is understandable, but I feel like these scooters don't go nearly as fast as cars do. So, <laughs> you know, and I don't have steel to keep me safe, you know, <laughs> hit me on a scooter, I'm dead. I just try to be safe on the sidewalk if there isn't many people. Hey. Sorry about that. All right. And these sidewalks are pretty fucked up, so it's already dangerous. just ran out there and hit the car. Oh, did he? Damn. Son of a bitch, yeah. I heard and that. Yeah. And he doesn't have on a, a helmet. Damn. Now he's running to get away. Yeah. Damn. Is that the black car he hit? Yeah, he hit the car. Damn. I thought I heard a pop, but I didn't know what the hell it was. Yeah. He left, they pulled over, that sucks. Yeah, man, there were police in that car there. Oh. I, could, I mean, they should know over there. I'll tell them. I'll go down there and tell them the cop is right there, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell them. Hey, guy! Hey, there's cops over here! I don't, you just got hit by like a, like a dude on a moped or something. 
he went up this way but if you want to there's a cop car right parked over here because i've been there bro that sucks he just ran off I don't know. He was illegally crossing anyway. Yeah. You okay though? Yeah. Any any damage or? Yeah, have a good one, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> so those cops were at the lights. So there's no way in hell I was gonna be riding on the fucking sidewalk right now. <laughs> No fucking way. But I've had my car hit before, you know, and I think it's fucked up that that dude left. Oh, there's another one there. They looking, see? I'm making a smart decision. Making a real smart decision. Cause I'm not trying to get got. Let me get up over here. About the way. There's a bunch of cars coming. I can hear them, but I can't see them. We are almost there, but this street is too dangerous for me to, to ride on the street. Oh shit, <laughs> did y'all see that? I almost went right off the fucking sidewalk. I almost hit that too. <laughs> but if you're gonna ride on the sidewalk, you really need to be like paying attention to the pedestrians. Cause when I see one, I always get off first, walk past them. Cause I don't want anyone to get hurt. But it's really awesome that you guys are with me today on this random excursion. All right. Almost at the post office. This sidewalk is all fucked up. I don't feel like hitting my butt. What's going on here? What? A neighborhood cabaret? That's awesome. <laughs> They're having like a neighborhood cabaret or something. I, that's awesome. Cabarets are super fun. They're like sexy and fun at the same time. Coming up behind you, my friend. My apologies. Don't want to go too fast because I am on the sidewalk. I'm gonna give it a stop here because I don't want to scare or frighten anyone. I went 10 miles, sweet. I take a picture. Now I gotta take a photograph of the scooter to prove that I dropped it off. It only cost me like six bucks, well seven bucks. It's not bad. All right guys, we're here. Puppy. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Got some written, some crap. Verify my, um, my ID, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't let me do it online, so it said to come to my post office to do it. Did, it. did you get to the part where you have to uh, barcode? No, I couldn't get past that because I couldn't, it wouldn't verify my ID until I came to the post office. Wait on that side and have one of them to help you, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Asking me about, yeah. it said I had to do verify my address and then my identification but the yes. online wouldn't allow me to identify uh, yes so and then you come get here. an email and it should be little marco there even if your if your identification hasn't been verified yes okay hold on let me scan it again okay mm -hmm. hold on let me do oh man yeah see just walking out of the post office Complete fucking waste of time. I was trying to sign up for informed delivery so I don't have to waste my money getting an Uber or a Lyft to check my PO box to see if I have something. But of course, there's a problem with trying to set that up. And it told me to go to the post office and office to take care of the problem. Of course, I go there and they're like, oh, well, it's all done online. We don't know how to do anything, blah, 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 blah. So I walked out of there not being able to get done what I needed to get done. And I'm annoyed. So blah, 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 blah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to, what do you call it, Wendy's, give me a chicken sandwich. By the way, I was actually going to do the Popeye's chicken sandwich and all that stuff, but they put out a tweet uh, like this week saying that they ran out of that particular sandwich uh, pretty much at all locations. So blah, 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 you feel me? You should treat me to a drink. Let's do that. Let's treat me to a drink. It's busy in here. Is anybody, uh, 
taking here? Just want to grab a quick drink. Ah. Ooh, five dollars like beers, wines. Thank you, sir. You know what? Let me just grab this margarita. Thank you so much. Guys, okay, so right now I'm at the public house. I decided to treat myself to a margarita. It's happy hour. The public house is in Los Feliz in California, you know, Los Angeles area. So they make you a dope little margarita. <laughs> and they have a lot of beers, a lot of beer options. TVs everywhere. Thank you, friends. I'll go ahead and pay you now. What's up? I killed that because I'm a beast. <laughs> I feel like we're like on a date together. All of us, we're just all like having a good time. Maybe you know, like, a, like an outing, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. It's about time to go though. I gotta get this chicken sandwich. <laughs> so I gotta do the number neighbor. You feel me? A lot to do, a lot to do. Fucking tried, okay. Hey, how many of y'all can get that damn close? Nobody. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, legit. This is actually where I had my uh, my car accident. This is where my car was totaled. It was right next to that tree, right there. Cause somebody tried to come off of uh, tried to come out of here and go against two lanes of traffic to turn this way. They ended up causing me to hit somebody else and my car got totaled and they sped off. And now you'll see they have a median right there to help, you know, to keep that shit from happening. But my car is already fucking totaled. All right, y'all, I'm right over there with the trash cans. Uh oh, I done tripped. That's where the recycling center is. So you take all your plastics there. You know what I'm saying? Make you some cash. Not a lot of cash, but, you know, cash nonetheless. Look at this nigga trying to kill everybody. trying to cross with a cart where it's not even a crosswalk area it's dangerous hope it makes it over, over there okay all right guys so now we are at wendy's as y'all can see couldn't get no uh popeye's chicken sandwich because them bitches want to around but that's okay i'm gonna give me a chicken sandwich regardless it's gonna be delicious as fuck so <laughs> I, hey man I just wanted to get the uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, if I get the combo, is it possible to uh, replace the fries with something else, like a salad or something? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna replace the fries with a, uh, like a salad. I like guess Caesar? Yeah, Caesar. Yeah, it'd be fine, yeah. Yo, you guys have any uh, sweet tea? Oh, you know what? I'll just do the lemonade. To go? Yeah, to go. Your uh, name? Amber Jones. <laughs> or, I didn't think he my full name, Amber. <laughs> Just so you know, I was gonna get the Popeye's chicken sandwich, but they was out. So I had to come over here, and I'm just playing. But they are out of it, so you know. Yeah, they out. I was, they sent out a tweet and everything. We're out of chicken sandwiches. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all sell chicken. <laughs> like, all you need is like some buns and some pickles. Like, what you doing? <laughs> uh, that's me. All right, thank you, appreciate you. Alrighty. This is Uber cold. Should be like Wendy's. Uh oh, I done dropped my whole sandwich. Alright guys, so while we're waiting on the Uber, let's go ahead and text our number neighbor. I'm gonna text uh, I'm gonna go one number up this time, the first one. 
Oh, it's an Android. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? Exclamation point. I am your number neighbor, and I just wanted to say hello. Maybe, maybe they'll respond. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys. I'll keep you posted. I think my Uber's almost here. No, it's three minutes away. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, so <laughs> it don't feel like a Friday to me yet. Killing it so far, then. So yeah, I'm running them back. errands. You feel me? Hey, that's, that's, that's right. All right, guys. So right now we're in the Lyft or no Uber. I got Uber. I deleted Lyft because Lyft is bullshit. And Uber is cheaper. You feel me? This is my guy. He's helping me out, taking me home, get me safe. We got our chicken sandwich because Popeyes gonna play some fucking games and run out of chicken sandwiches. So now I gotta go to Wendy's. I'm not saying Wendy's isn't good. It is. They got a bomb ass chicken sandwich. Do they not? You I'm know. Not sure. I'm not knowing what's up, honestly. What? I'm oh man, myself. let me out. Let me out. You don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That location was garbage, was terrible. Yeah, so with the windows, oh, how much is it? Uh, they got good ass prices. It's happy hours from three to seven. You get a five gram eighth, bro. Yeah. Five dollar eighth? Yes. No, 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 no. Five gram eighth. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> I wish a five dollar eighth. There's another spot, I think it's called like, you send your text message, you can get buy one eighth, get the second eighth for five dollars. Oh, hell yeah. Which yes. is pretty fire. Yes. Yeah. Actually, no, it's the next uh, thing. Let me see here. I have not gotten a response from my other number neighbor, so we're about to do, we did the lower number first. We're gonna do the higher number now. Okay. Uh -huh. Ugh, it's another Android. <laughs> you can tell it's an Android because when you have an iPhone, Android text messages are green and iPhone text messages are blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, what's going on? I am your number neighbor and I just wanted to say hello. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send on that one. Now maybe they'll maybe they'll hit us back, maybe they won't, we'll see. Cause I know if I got a weird message from a number I didn't know, I wouldn't be too quick <laughs> to respond. You know, like what the fuck? I would think it was a scammer or something, but we'll see what happens and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Mm. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. You see me, I'm moving it with my finger here. Bitches. I don't know what the fuck is going on outside my apartment, but it's always something going on. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. I don't care anymore. Make all the sounds y'all want. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that was a fun day, super random. We got a chance to do a scooter ride. We went to the post office. We failed at the number neighbor trend, so they never text me back. We had a chicken sandwich. Wasn't the one that we actually wanted, but you know. Um, <laughs> and uh, we met a dope ass Uber driver. It was a pretty, it was a fun day. Make sure you guys comment below your favorite parts of this video. Now, I kind of want to try something new here. I want you guys to go ahead in the comment section below, uh, time stamp any that's what she said moments. I say a lot of things that <laughs> that could be in the that's what she said category. Because when I see one, I always get off first. All right, let's go ahead and strap this bitch in my chest. And you can do it in my other videos as well. Maybe eventually we can make ourselves a that's what she said compilation video. Compilation is not just for porn. <sighs> Grow up. All right, guys, so now it's time to go to one of our favorite parts of the video when I read your feature comments from one of my videos. And this video, we're gonna be reading from I Met Childish Gambino, sorta. <laughs> it was a really fun vlog. So uh, the first comment is coming from Lady Scorpio. And uh, Lady Scorpio says, holy smokes, I saw my intro. Thanks so much, Smiles. Your cuz does look like Childish Gambino. How cool. You look so happy driving. Congrats on renewing your license. Excellent video. Ah, I really appreciate you, man. And for those of you, if you would also like to create an intro video for me, all you have to do is send it to my email, which is down below in the description box. All you have to do is say, hi, my name is, where you're from, and that you're a member of the Smile Squad and you're watching the Professionally Silly channel. That's it. So the next comment is coming from Mir Luna Lee. And she says, I love y'all's friendship. It's so my style. Just beautifully silly as fuck. <laughs> Hashtag friendship goal for real. I appreciate you, man. I love that boy. He is like the dope, one of the dopest human beings to ever roam the earth. I love him. I love you, Wesley. The next comment is coming from Cecilia, no last name. And uh, Cecilia says, I could watch y'all all day. Y'all are funny. 
I mean, you know, we we do manage to get a little goofy here and there when we together. And also guys, just to let you know, uh, Wes now has a podcast on Anchor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that info down in the description box as well, along with the link to a podcast that he and I did together on my podcast. He and I are gonna start doing podcasts together because he lives in Atlanta, so, and I live in LA now. So that's uh, one of the ways that we can create content together. It's really fire. All right guys, we have one more thing to take care of. It's kind of a mini version of what's in my box. Remember when we went to the post office and there was a, a letter that was in there? Well, it's time to open her up. I don't know what it is, but it's handwritten. Maybe it'll be interesting. Or maybe it's an advertisement because there's no return address. And, oh, heavens and hell. Look at this. <laughs> So I'm guessing I have someone who's seen my YouTube videos and they decided to try to save my soul for being gay. Wow. A place of sinful companionship. <laughs> and then there's like a bunch of Bible verses. Y'all, that means I made it. You feel me? That means I made it. Some random stranger is sending me this. Yo, we doing big things here on Professionally Silly, y'all. <laughs> That is so fucking random. And it makes sense because they they didn't put a uh, they didn't put a, a return address on here. So, wow. Well, they're from Jacksonville, Florida. We know that much. <laughs> I could probably find out where it came from if I wanted to. I have like the, the serial numbers and the barcode and all that stuff. So, but I just don't care enough. <laughs> if you too want to send me something to my P.O. box, whatever it may it be, even if it's that bullshit, that's fine. My P.O. box information is down below. You can send me letters, fan mails, your favorite snacks that you want me to try, my favorite snacks, whatever the fuck you want. My P.O. box is in the description box below. Wow, that was a very interesting what's in my box episode, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. All right, guys, don't forget to go ahead and show your support for this channel by clicking that thumbs up button. It's a really easy way to help get my uh, my channel out there. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you comment, share, subscribe. Those are also really good ways to help this channel grow as well. I guess that's it. Uh... Yep. Cheese whiz and glasses.